Hello there, I'm the Marmoset and welcome back to City Skylines. This is Animalia in with the After Dark expansion. In our little let's play, you can see the Greater Isle Woods is really starting to fill out now. All these people living and trying to work somewhere else and, you know, being on fire. Thankfully the police department and the fire department are here to help the organic food market no longer be on fire. So that's, that's at least that bit sorted out. Traffic appears to be vaguely flowing and I was just tinkering around a little bit with this. I've graded this kind of fork-like structure now, so we've got uh, plenty of lanes to get people in and out. We've got a fair bit of traffic coming along here in various places, but uh, overall I'm not too concerned with it. Um, it's moving, that's the main thing. This is getting a little bit busy. I am kind of tempted to put a dedicated line that comes off here and joins up with that roundabout. Just to kind of spread the traffic out a little bit. Interesting. Yeah, let's make our starting priority here. Playing with this a little bit. So, we've got people here who want to get onto the roundabout. We've got people here who want to get onto this motorway over here. So, let us have a bit of motorway that connects to there. No, let's it's too close. Let's have a bit of motorway. Next to there. And a bit of motorway. Looks like we will be deleting that bridge. Let's uh, upgrade you to two lane. Let's have a bit of motorway. connects into the roundabout. So, if you want to get off the roundabout and you're heading that way, we will need a connection, which we'll have previously as we have had. Weave and duck and dive and do strange things over that. So, you go that way, you go that way. So we now want to arrange this. So, if you want to get out from here, go to this, you can. If you want to get out from here, go to this, you can. Cut you down a little bit. Switch to this one. If you want to go straight on from here to there, you can. If you want to get out this way, you want you to come up. Cross this, and then delete that once twice. Let's, let's go underground. that road, grab this, connect in there, and then probably upgrade to a highway. Right, sort yourselves out. Going to make that very briefly a four way. So people are turning and people there are not getting each other's way. There's a load of traffic. It kind of annoy me a little bit when they do that. You have to cut across because they want to be on the other lane. This is beginning to back up and snarl up again. We just have lots of little traffic problems. Apparently being this entire district 
is kind of snarled. Yeah, everyone's trying to head for that terminal, which I put in the center of the district. And it just, everyone trying to get everywhere, just kind of snarls everything up. Hmm. I wonder. I think what we'll be doing is, after the break, I will go around and I'm going to rearrange all the one-way roads in here so that they clear this road down the middle from it having anyone trying to turn onto it. So it's all about people getting off it rather than anything else. So these roads will probably become a bit busier, but I'm happy with that. All right, back in a sec. So what have I done? Well, I re-rigged the roads so that this is now a four-lane one-way. goes all the way through the middle of here, apart from the small, narrow bit in the section where it goes and deals with the... There we go. And deals with the uh, the junction, the primary thing here. And it goes... All of these roads now leave from this and come into here. So this, these roads are probably going to get busier, but at the moment they're not carrying anywhere near as much traffic as they could, so I'm reasonably happy with that. The other thing is, I've added two extra metro stations and run this all the way through. I also switch this one to a four-way cross because I suspect we're building in here and linking up with this over there. So I want to a little bit of future planning while we can always rebuild the metro lines. Also re-rigged the ro the um, bus network, so I have a one that goes around the outside, and I've got one that just kind of bimbles in a bizarre and complicated manner on the inside. So this now is the blue one is spider circular. This one, the red one or the magenta one, is spider confused. It's a very bizarre um, bus network that purely existed to exploit the fact that. When you have bus points, it um, increases the happiness of people. So it literally exists just to um, have points on the inner line whereby I have bus stops for happiness. The blue line does the outer one, the red one does the middle bit. It loops around in ridiculous ways to get to all these different locations. It's an awful, awful route, um, but... It does with the services. I'm not going to have a bus stop in here. You just have to deal with the fact that um, you'll have to walk a bit if you get off here, but you can get on the blue line pretty quickly from both of these directions. Yeah, primarily because it's just going to be absolutely mental to try and uh, put a bus stop in here. So let's unpause and watch utter chaos kind of happen as we have a load of buses. That's on fire. Well, there is no, that's just going to burn. I've got a hideous feeling that is going to burn down because there is just no way that a fire truck. Oh, <laughs> all right, I stand corrected. There is a fire truck heading that way. So we now have a four-lane one-way going down the middle of here. Now I'm just going to get forward, letting on change lane arrows, go down to slow lane, and turn that off on the outside lanes. So we don't have traffic. Running onto itself. Bit of slow down there, my apologies. So beginning to crunch a little bit, even though we require a powerful computer because we're just dealing with a lot of things here. So Yes, you're going to be on fire for a while. And while you're on fire, traffic and everything is going to be completely snarled up. And then hopefully it won't be. I'm on. Yes, because there's the other fire trucks, but they can't get there because of all the buses. There we go, it's no longer on fire. Fire crews will pack up. And you'll return to station. Right. So that one clear out. It's a real shame I don't have the thing where I could basically make it. If you want to go through here, you can't be in that left hand lane. If you're going straight on, you have no option, you're not allowed in that left hand lane. But apparently, it's beginning to move a bit better. Oh, 
Okay, so... These roads are a bit more snarled up. But we knew that was kind of going to happen. Hmm. We're kind of turning around. But then, having just rearranged all the roads, I've got a lot of people who are very confused. And there's a load of buses that are sorting themselves out. So, yeah, okay, well, I'll just wait and see. Yeah, but that's not what I paid for, so I don't really care about that too much. Interesting. If you're there, and you want to get to the motorway, you've got to go all the way around. Hmm. The point whereby that my in is now jamming up my out. Let's do something a little bit drastic and swap those two over. Grab that one. If you want to come in, you come in there. If you want to leave, Really? I thought that would have been slightly easier to deal with. Yes, I know I'm confusing all of you. It's horrible of me, isn't it? Um, let's just come out a little earlier. Like that. I'll probably make that twin road, just so I've got a little bit more ability to get you out of the district. And again, traffic presidents, lane arrows. There we go. Uh, no, double straight on, thank you. Right. Now this is going to cause a mess. An absolute mess. <laughs> I've only got a vast amount of traffic that is going in completely the wrong direction. There are lights here. Yeah, there are. Hmm. Okay, let's. Upgrade you to a very large road. So there's more space for you to space out. And then we'll let that sort itself out in a bit. Alright, so that's unsnarling at least. That's a traffic jam down there. You. Can get upgraded to provide more options for roads. So people can spread out in different lanes. At least once you get to there, you are moving, aren't you? Alright, so I've got four lanes there. So I want to have it so that you can turn left in more of those lanes. Why shouldn't you be able to turn left in more of those lanes? You don't all have to be... So that's working quite nicely. Those who want to get are getting out of the way. You're all buying up over there, but that's getting out. It's a new bus line, people joining in. Yeah, that's all as much you're going to be getting over there. 
I almost worry that district is simply too big for the number of road connections it's got. Hmm. I wonder. Yes, I think I will try it. That's a national road. For those of you who are trying to leave town, no idea how much traffic that will decongest, but just a little another way of getting out of here and going somewhere else. The point where I think I will probably do the same over here. Forty-eight. I will wait the sixty pound. Yeah, the camera goes there. All right, let's go to sixty, and then. Exactly the same over here. A little extra row connection just to make hopefully life just a little bit easier. Actually, that involves traffic crossing over each other, so. So the thing is, because that road is technically going down the wrong way for a left-hand drive. Did I get that strange crossover effect? Hmm. Technically it is, isn't it? Oh well. Let's wait and see if we get anyone on these extra little spokes. I doubt it, but you never know. I doubt it, but you never know. So just killing time a little bit while we have our money tick up and hopefully some of this lot sort themselves out a bit. So that's all moving a bit freely. That's not jacking up too badly. This has cleared itself out. Now it's not full of buses. So the traffic problem is still here. It's mostly just the sheer number of people trying to turn onto this road. It's people lane changing, isn't it? Yeah. Yep, it's lane changes. There's not much I can really do about it, really. I've just got people changing lanes a lot. They're moving. There is at least that. Hmm. Dead people. Dead people. It's a cemetery. A crime. Wow, that's a lot of crime. Firehouse. Police station. Only up to two. That's, um. Hmm. How much are you? Thank you, jail capacity. Let's add another one in. There. Hmm? 
crime. Crime just there. Oh, apparently that car dealt with it. Just had an extra one in, just to get a little few more cars. The building is burned down? Yeah, okay. We'll probably be adding... Yeah, our fire coverage around here is awful at the moment. Um, you're a huge estate. I am going to just flat out add... Another one there. Another one here. I'm going to add space already occupied. What are you? Police station. You're a medical clinic, it's fine. What I want is a pair of firehouses. Give me some more better coverage. I think I will add another firehouse down here. Right. Let's prove that at least. Right, done. Okay, so I think this episode has mostly been a case of me tinkering a lot with this, because it was a major traffic problem. And if we've got people snarled up and not getting anywhere, then we've got people snarled up and not getting anywhere. And that doesn't help us with our sort of capability of doing anything out. So I'm hearing dinging, which means stuff is upgrading, which is better. This is beginning to fit out a little bit more, but let's have a look. Do I want to upgrade this to a three-way road? Yeah, I think I do. Where is that? I don't see any unnecessary harm in improving the ability of that road to take traffic. Something else I might do is add a one-way road, the straight style. Like that, down there. Just to provide a slightly extra, a little bit of traffic release. Hmm. Driving to a small park. All the way over here. I suspect you're probably going home. Alright. Okay. Done ski. Alright. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Tinkering and Driving. It's been very much another episode of me learning more about how traffic works. The, uh, while I was originally very enthusiastic about the design of this place, I'm not, in hindsight, I am not as happy with it. Um, I'm still trying to work out how to get it moving as best I can. Um, we've got a lot of traffic backing up in various places along here, mostly because we've got lots and lots of junctions along this. To the point where I'm almost thinking about making this a one way out. And that a one way out. Yeah, I think I might do that. And that'll be the last thing we do this episode. Bus routes, just quickly. Disable that, that, and that so you don't you no longer come up and down there. Yeah, okay, so we will switch to there's the big road, yeah. One way of that. Out, out, and out. Do the same down here. Out, out, and out. Sorry for all the chaos. So yes, thank you very much for watching this one. In between episodes, I'm going to go and have a bit of a little tinker um, with uh, my bus routes, because I just broke them all again. Um, 
we have a, apparently a significant crime problem with the ability for our police stations to get places, but I'll deal with that in just a bit. Thank you very much for watching. I've been the Marmoset. This has been a tinkering episode in City Skylines. Population's going down. We've got problems, I'm assuming. I have no idea why global happiness... No, I don't know why it's going down. I can only assume there are... Yeah, it's probably business problems and the rest of it. Your complaint is low land value. Ooh. Well, I could probably do something about that with um, some kind of edging, possibly, that might increase the land value. Or you've not got any... There's a park right there. Bus route. Coverage of this, coverage of that. Fire safety is slightly lower than it could be. Alright, well, I'll put another fire station in. Maybe that will make you happy. Alright, I'm going to carry on thinking for a bit. Bye for now.